Hi guys, this is Nathan with ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to root the Nook Glow uh, using the uh, Glow Neuter package that uh, comes with Google Apps. So, uh, here's the Glow Neuter package over at XDA. Um, you just go ahead and follow these directions right here if you want. I got some easier directions over here on my website. Uh, a couple of things you got to do first is uh, you need to create a backup of your Nook, and then you also need to, well, you don't have to, but it's a really good idea to. And then uh, you need to create a uh, Clockwork Mod micro SD card. So I got those directions right here. It's really easy. You just gotta uh, write the Clockwork Mod recovery file to a uh, micro SD card, and then uh, we're good to go. We can use Clockwork Mod to install Glow Neuter uh, on the Nook Glow, and I'll show you exactly how that process works. So first thing is you're gonna want to take your stock Nook, uh, turn it off. If you rooted with Tiny Newt, I would recommend restoring back to stock before you do this. Uh, that's what I did right there. That's my stock image that I uh, just restored back on there. So go ahead, turn off your Nook, then take your uh, Clockwork Mod micro SD card and insert it in the back. Then go ahead and turn the Nook on. So then we'll get a Clockwork Mod uh, recovery logo. And once this loads up, we'll have a uh, menu that we'll have to use to install the Glow Neuter package. So there's two steps. The first step is we install the Glow Neuter package, and we'll come back, uh, we'll set everything up, and then we'll come back in here and install a uh, different zip package to fix the Android market. So we just use this button, side buttons here, go down to install zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card, and then choose the Glow Neuter zip, then confirm. And rooting the Nook is as easy as that. It will go ahead and tell you the script right here. And then once it finishes, it will say install complete at the bottom. And then the next thing we do is uh, remove the memory card and then we'll restart it. So this is how easy rooting the Nook Glow is. All you do is install this card. Thanks to the guys at XGA putting all this together, especially uh, Gabrielle uh, Destour. I probably pronounced that wrong. but uh, So once we get the install from SD card complete, we pop out the memory card, very important you do that, otherwise we'll just boot into Clockwork Mod again. So take out the memory card, then we hit the back button, and then reboot system now. Hit the end button. Okay, so then it'll go ahead and reboot. It's going to take it quite a while to reboot this first time around. It's going to take it longer than it normally does, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the video to the other side of the boot screen. Okay, so once your Nook boots up, just Hit the lock screen and you'll be greeted with the Android interface. Just hit the Android guy to go ahead and continue. And then we'll go ahead and skip sign in for now. Um, skip. And leave those checked and we'll just proceed on out of here. Um, we'll want to hit the ADW launcher. I usually hit this so that we can get to it by default by using the um, button saviors home. And then you can get your regular Nooks home by using the home brought up by the end button. So then we get brought to our Android home screen right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and launch the app drawer. Oh, actually, the first thing you want to do is you go in and you connect to Wi-Fi. If you're not already connected, mine was already connected beforehand, so we're good to go. Um, then we come in here, uh, launch the app drawer, scroll over, and then this is what we got to do to set up our Google account is we go into YouTube, accept the terms, and then we got to hit the menu button up here on your Nook bar, and then a My Channel. And then just go ahead and log into your Google account on YouTube here. Okay, so once you log in, accept the permissions. Go hit allow twice. And then we're good to go. We can exit out of here. So uh, one thing you want to familiarize yourself with with your rooted nook is there's this little arrow icon over here. If you hit this little arrow icon, it launches button saver, and you've got little buttons right here where you can get to your Android home screen. You can use the back and menu buttons there as well. So after we have uh, our YouTube sign-in done, then we just go in here. And then we go over and launch Gmail. Um, then you go up here, hit Menu, Refresh for Sync. Uh, I really don't know what this does. It never does anything. Uh, this app doesn't actually even work after it's rooted or after you set up the Google Apps. Um, so it just you do this and then you exit. And we go ahead and turn off our Nooks now. And then we got to go ahead and install another script really quick. It's the same way as you do the touch or the Glow Neuter file. So we just turn off our Nook, we take our memory card, stick it back in. Okay, so then we just turn the Nook on again, and we install this the same way as we did Glow Neuter.
Once again, we'll go down to install zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card, and we hit the uh, Beta 5 Part 2 zip, and choose to install that. So this uh, apparently it fixes some of the issues with the Android market so that it'll run properly. Uh, the search market still won't work, or the search won't work in the Android market. So after we get this set up, I'll show you how to uh, install the search market app so that you can run searches with that uh, using the Android market. Okay, so once this is finished, it'll say install from SD card complete. Once again, you have to remove the memory card. Uh, at this point, you can go ahead and erase the memory card. You can format it, get it back to blank, and you can use it uh, for installing content on if you want. Um, because we're done with it now, we just back out to the main menu, and then we hit the reboot system now, and it goes ahead and boots it back up, and we'll go back to our Android home screen, and then we'll do a couple more things to get things set up uh, after it boots up. So after you flash the uh, market fix, now the Android market should be good to go. So I just launched the market app. Then you go ahead and sign in and accept the terms. And you should be good to go here. Okay, so once you sign in, you can go ahead and launch the market. And it's good to go. So uh, a couple of things like... Uh, the search function won't work. So if you go up here and type a search, it's not going to work. So this is what we're going to do. You go into apps, communication, and top free. So the uh, glow neuter package comes with Opera Mini, but it doesn't seem to work. And also if you install it from here, it doesn't seem to work. So what we're going to want to do is install the Opera Mobile browser. So once we get that installed, then we can launch the Opera Mobile Web Browser to download the Search Market app. So we'll just go back to the home screen, and it should tell us when it's done up here. So once that's installed, go ahead and launch the Opera Mobile Web Browser. Then go ahead and type in Search Market app. We've got to accept the terms first. Go ahead and type Search Market app up here into the Google search bar. So the first listing will be this app brain listing. Just go ahead and click it here, and then it will direct to app brain, and then there's this install button at the top. Once you hit this install button, it'll direct to the Android market listing. And then we can go ahead and install it from here. So once we have search market installed, it's a separate app. We can use that to search the Android market, and it works really fast. So that's a good way uh, to run searches, find your apps on the Android market. So let me show you a couple other quick details here. If you want to go ahead and launch menu from the home screen, go to more, ADW settings, theme preferences. We can change the theme. Minimalistic black is the, uh, it comes with this e-ink friendly um, theme here. We just apply that theme and it looks a little bit better as far as the icons go on the home screen. Okay, so, so you can see these a lot better now when you launch the app drawer. So if you want, you can just drag your apps to the home screen, like so. You long press, you can bring up your options to add widgets, shortcuts. So if you have like Aldeco install, you can put shortcuts to a specific ebooks on here. So with the Search Market app, it's just a little app right here. You launch this and we can run any searches with that and then we'll launch the Android market. Alright, so this uh, concludes the uh, tutorial for Glow Neuter. Check out the ebookreader.com for some additional information as well as XDA. Thanks to the guys at XDA for putting this together.